I feel like this is in a pinch. Somebody's coming over. You're not sure what to do. You're like, you know what? I got a can of pineapple. I got a can of tuna. I got make some white sauce real quick. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put some cornflakes on top and some cheese. Yeah. Done. We recipe. are after Stephanie's amazing, amazing, it was a pretty good showing. Showing on Chopped. Like if you haven't seen it already, you need to go out. You've got to go. Head on over to your Direct TV. Yeah, or like whatever up. you got, or look it up on YouTube, or yeah. whatever you can find. But you have got to see her on Chopped. Chopped. She was amazing. The episode is amazing. called Brady Bunch Bash. Yes. You and need to go check it out. Lots of stuff to do with like tiki things, and there's a yeah, one episode it was in a general. Total Hawaiian Hawaiian themed episode. And so, in honor of her Hawaiian themed episode, today we're gonna make a dish from a new cookbook yeah. that is Aloha inspired. We have this beautiful little cookbook right here. Look at here. this fun new cookbook. Recetas. Popari. A fan, Sherry. Sherry, thank you, thank Sherry. Thank you. Cute. She saw this at an estate sale. Recetas Popari. And what is the deal with... Okay, so... Tell us what it is. This whole thing is compiled by the Embassy Wives group, I guess, of the Embassy of the United States of America in Mexico. Um, they have one recipe that's in English and the other the exact recipe... exact recipe in Spanish. In Spanish and in English. I love that. It's really, really cute. Lots of great recipes, just classic recipes. Mm -hmm. This is from 1957. Today, on Recipe Archaeology, we're going to make, make Aloha, Aloha tuna. tuna. Hello, the, tuna. Hello, tuna. Let's make, tell me how to make Aloha tuna. Here's how you make Aloha tuna. Okay. So you need two cans of seven ounces of tuna. So we need 14 ounces of tuna. We're going to make it work. We're going to figure out 14 ounces. We're going to make it work. Yeah. We need a cup of white sauce, which we've already made. We made on the stove. Um, a, a tablespoon of chopped onion. Um, a cup of sharp cheese grated. Got and it. we have to reserve a fourth of that for okay. on top. Oh, okay. okay. For topping. Mm -hmm. We need a can of sliced pineapple. Aloha. Oh, dear. That's what makes it aloha. Okay, you also need cornflakes. Yeah, you do. You need a f half a cup of fresh cornflakes. Half flakes. a cup? Okay. Here's what you do. You arrange the, your drained pineapple slices on a cookie sheet. Okay. You mix tuna with the white sauce, okay. the cheese, and the onion. Okay, so we we put it in, the, in with our white sauce right. and mix it all nice up. Okay. You mound the tuna mixture on each slice of pineapple. Okay. So, pineapple. Mound. Mound of tuna mm -hmm. white sauce mixture. Right. I like it. Then you sprinkle with crushed cornflakes on top of that. To give know, a little crunch. For a little crispy element. Uh huh. And then you put the remaining grated cheese. That sounds tasty. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Does it sound tasty? And then what? Then you bake it for 10 to 15 minutes in a 350 oven. Okay. Get it you, nice and hot. Four or five servings is what this makes. Four or four five. Four or five. So everybody's four getting like five. two. Everybody's getting two pineapples. I guess. And this this all comes to us via Mabel Parker. Thank yes. it. Let's get it going. Hot tea. Yeah. So we're just going to combine our tuna, cheese, and onion and our white sauce. Yeah. And listen, uh, we will put the recipe. The white sauce was very simple. It yes. was just butter, flour, uh, diced onion, and salt milk. And pepper. Milk, salt, and pepper. Yeah. So easy, came together in literally two right. minutes. We will put the recipe down below and we will put the recipe on our website, yes. recipearchaeology.com. Okay, I don't think we need to make eight of these because there's just two of us. How about four? Okay, let's do four. Uh, you know what? Something. It looks like a tuna casserole. It looks like a tuna cup. You like add some noodles. Tuna salad. Yeah, you, you got a tuna put... noodle. I feel like there should be more cheese in here, but yeah, I agree. You know, but I'm but just gonna mound we're doing it on top. we're doing what Mabel Parker. This is what Mabel wanted us to do. Wants us to do. So I'm doing it, and there we are. It's just mounded. Let's see. On top. I like that. Right. What do you think? Like, is that enough? I think that looks beautiful. Or or did she want it mounded like like a dinner portion? Like, cause this looks like a lunch portion. Now I'm going to. Now cornflakes on top, 
Oh yeah, be generous. I feel. I feel like right. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Generous with your corn. Flakes. I like a good crunch. Oh yes. Especially, sure. especially if you've got like a tuna casserole. Mm -hmm. You Make need sure a you good get it. top, a good tuna, a crunchy topping. Like get it on the sides too. Like mm. cover the yeah. ball. Ooh, right? Like a ball. Like a ball of cornflake and tuna. You know what I love about this? I feel like in chopped, all these ingredients could have been in a basket. Oh, definitely. You could have had all and, of okay, cheese on top of each one. Sprinkle some cheese. Putting this cheese oh, on top yeah. of each yeah, 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 one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so we are just going to uh, put this in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 350. They're going to get nice and. Oh, I'm excited. About this might this. actually turn out okay. <laughs> Okay, let's take a gander. Look, it's got a nice little melty melt on top. It's very melty on top. Mm-hmm. It's nice and crispy from the, it's it's very one note color wise. Oh. I feel like it needs a little parsley on top or something. You oh. know, zhuzh it up a bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna plunge through. Cut into it. Oh dear. <laughs> it's a squish, it's a mush. <laughs> it's a mush. It's a mush. There's not the cornflakes have got cornflakes have not really they've not retained their crunch. They have not. My uh, cheese came off in one. Yeah, mine too. Yes, feels like a very large bite. I'm gonna take here. Cheers. Okay, aloha, everyone. Hmm. Definitely has a tuna casserole. I mean, feel. The warm tuna. And it's then, not my favorite thing in the world. And then the sweet pineapple. Pineapple. There uh -huh. is a little bit of crunch. A little. I would prefer more. I was just going to say, I would like to see more crunch. I would want more crunch. Only called for salt in the roux. Right. Did not call for salt in the recipe itself. I could use a little more seasoning. And I, I agree what you said about we could use a little parsley on top. So huh. It's not terrible. The hot pineapple is weird too, though. But you know the hot pineapple... Is reminiscent of a pizza with the <laughs> yes the Hawaiian pizza which I'm not a fan of. You don't like the I'm, the pineapple and pizza. I'm not a fan of that. I'm really? not judging anyone for that. By all means, do okay. do you you do you mm -hmm. you live your best life, and if that includes pineapple on your pizza, then go for it. By all means, go for it. Right. I'm just not going to partake with you. Why do I keep eating it? I don't know if this would pass the appetizer <laughs> round of chopped. No. No, 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 no. It would not pass appetizer I round. I don't think it would. You would have to put some cayenne in here. Like, there has, there's no spice in it. Yeah. The flavor is just super mellow. It's very... But, you know, you know, what we've learned through our adventures is that, that the mid-century cooks, their flavors were very mellowed mm -hmm. out. So no. They were just not super adventurous in their flavors and seasonings. I'm going to say this, though. What? It's missing the tang that you would get with mayonnaise. Okay. If you want to make tuna aloha, make it. See what you think. Or don't. But don't forget to like us on Facebook, yes. Instagram. You can subscribe. now subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. You can visit us on our website. Crispyarchaeology.com. Dot com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please share. Love you guys. Bye. Aloha. 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 Oh. Aloha. Oh. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs>